Sup guys, Heat King here bringing you another manga review for this week's Black Clover chapter, chapter 300 and I believe it's 25? It is 25, 325. So yeah, we left last chapter with um, Yami, Nucked, Asta and Yuno basically teaming up to fight Lucifero and we're pretty much continuing off right off the bat from there. You've got the fighters ready and going in and remember children's playground is still active you've got the various shadows jumping in trying to defeat the lucifero lucifero has powered up slightly he's going all out he wasn't going all out last time but now that he's gotten a few little small hits in he realizes the danger that these humans possess so now he's going all out and he unleashes his power to, to sort of destroy the children's playground magic that uh, knocked and I think the army combined to create. Um, he, as he remarks, our magic, he's destroyed it all. We really are dealing with the strongest devil. So yeah, um, Lucifer taking it serious. Um, a lot of this chapter is very hectic and chaotic. Like, I have a hard time actually figuring out what's going on and who's doing what. Um, the way it's drawn up is, it's confusing as hell. Like I imagine if this was the anime, it would be easier to follow, but I, I'm having a hard time following what's going on here. But yeah, you've got Yami shouting out that they need to defeat this dude. Uh, before he lays them out as you say and uh, Asta ends uh, with Leap. He goes into his uh, devil union now uh, form and we get this little panel, little moment where Leap's like, you know, here and now I'll avenge Lysita's death. So I'm just waiting for that uh, for that chapter where Leap just sits and talks with Asta and tells him, yo, I knew your mother, you know, this dude killed her, blah, blah, blah. We're technically uh, brothers in a, in a way. So I I'm, I'm, I'm want that to happen. Like, wait, we haven't gotten that yet. I'm, ho I'm hoping maybe after this arc we get that revelation uh, and, and see how that relationship develops further from being friends to being actual like stepbrothers because that's essentially what they are. Um, so yeah, um, Asta going into his devil union form and Nox gets a bit worried about this. So like anti-magic, it's overflowing, it's leaking out for it. We can't use kids playground like this. So it's referred to as kids playground, not children's playground. And it's the same kind of wording, isn't it? So it doesn't really matter. Um, You've got Lucifero going in to attack Asta, you know, and Asta's going for attack on him like Demon Slasher Infinite. Uh, I don't know what's going on here, to be honest. I think Asla, uh, Asta went for a slash, he went for an attack that Lucifero dodged and he just sort of maybe jumped, teleported in right towards Asta maybe. I, again, very hectic, very confusing. And he's like, you might be, and he pretty much admits, you might be the most dangerous one here but you're also the one who is the easiest to kill. So yeah, kind of a double-edged sword there. He's got the most power in terms of being able to defeat Lucifero, but he's, you know, depending on just one hit, he will die. Like, so you've got the characters jumping in to protect him. You've got Yami jumping in and, and blocking the, you know, trying to hit Lucifero, and he can't cut him like before. So I don't know what's going on here. I don't know if it maybe it's, it may be Asta's anti-magic is interfering with the magic of the other heroes. Uh, you got Yuno coming in with uh, with one of his crystals, trying to fight. Don't know what don't know what goes on here. I think he, I think Lucifero goes for some sort of uh, attack, but uh, because you know that you know's there, he uses his powers to I think block the attack and protect the army. So you know you've got oh so you've got two Grimmels now, eh? Thanks for the save, you handsome um, B word. Uh, so yeah, Noct is just sitting there watching all of this, and he pretty much even says it like as it stands, Yami and Asta are the only ones who can defeat Lucifero, but how much more can Yami manage with just one arm? So Yami's only got one arm, uh, I'm very confused, but he didn't get cut off in that, so that you got it injured perhaps, so I'm very confused about that statement there, I don't know if that's a mistranslation uh, error, I didn't notice that Yami can only use one hand at the moment, I, I'm assuming one of his arms is is injured, uh, again, if this was if this happened last chapter, I wasn't paying attention, so sorry about that guys, uh, and yeah, and yeah, you knocked is just continuing, and I don't know if this is, uh, no, this is Yuno now, we're going to Yuno's thoughts, and he's like, I can't follow Asta with my star magic either, on top of that, I haven't fully recovered yet. So yeah, you've got characters who are injured, exhausted, they're running out of time essentially, and um, we, we, and then we got, I don't know who, I think it's Yuno talking, and he's like, Yami or Asta, who do we bet on? So yeah, it's it, like, at this point, like, the, the, you know, having a midlife crisis here, I guess, like, who, who's the one who's going to throw the blow, uh, blow, who's the killing blow, who's the one that we can rely on, on to, to defeat this guy in one hit, maybe, like, 
who do we protect the most? And at this point, it, it you know, you have to, you know, maybe that's going to be a decision that's going to happen next chapter, and you know, like, like, like a life and death, like maybe one of these. And obviously, it's going to be Yomi. Us is the main character; he's not going to die. But um, it's, it's very high likely that maybe Yomi will, will likely die. Maybe like it will become a case of, uh, you know, we can only protect one of you guys constantly. Like we can't protect you, and you at the same time. So. Very interesting, say, very interesting to see what's going to happen. We see that one devil there that's still there, sitting on a rock just watching the fight, still not getting involved. I really want to know what that dude's deal is. We see Nut. I don't, I don't know what's going on here. I don't know if, uh, if Lucifer did this, but what, one of these, the gloves on one of his hands I, I disappears, I think. Like, yeah, it's very confusing what's going on here. Uh, no, it's Asta. It's Asta, actually. Asta comes in. I think Noct went for an attack, perhaps, and then Asta gets comes in by accident. He gets thrown in. I don't know. And he uses his sword to slice through or, or to cut through the the armor on or the Devil Union armor on on uh, Noct's arm. I don't know. It disappears. I don't know what's going on. There. It's very hard to tell. Lucifer comes in and he, God, I, he kicks Asta's one of Asta's legs and breaks it. I think. Uh, I, yeah, it's way too fast. He went for a slash and Lucifero dodged it and he kicks Asta's leg. Yeah, very hard to follow what's going on here. You've got Yuno coming in for attack. Um, and, he, and he tries to hit Lucifero and, like, with a spear, I think, but it breaks. And uh, and, and, and I think uh, Yuno, Yuno's like, I'm placing my bets on the one who yields Captain Vungeon's sword. The left or the right, so I don't know what's going on here, the left or the right, like he's trying to decide who to, to protect maybe, like he's protecting Astra at this point, and then it doesn't matter where the attacks come from, and is like, I will kill you, and he ends up ripping the wings of Yuno's ability, so yeah, very hectic chapter, like it's, it's done really, it's a very quick chapter, very quick action chapter, but I had a hard time following what's going on here, not particularly fond of this chapter, honestly, uh, just because I had a hard time seeing what the hell was going on, and Yuno is debating on who he's gonna, I think, protect or help the most. Uh, and I think he's gonna go with Yami just because he's got Captain Bonjan's sword, but that clearly didn't do anything. And you've got Lucifero trying to kill, you know, Asta with all his might because he's the one he pretty much is, a, is scared of the most. Because, like he says, he's he's, you know, he's the most, I think, most powerful, like he said, but he's also the easiest to kill, as he says. So, like, you know, the, the logical thing would be to protect Asta then, but uh, yeah. Um, yeah, again, very hectic chapter. I uh, can't really say what's going to happen next week. At, at this point, these guys are getting one-shotted. You know, the wings are gone for you. You know, Asa's has got his leg broken. Um, um, it knocks arm, Yami's arm. Like just, just crazy stuff going on here. Like they're getting wrecked essentially. So they're going to need a miracle. Literally, they're going to need a miracle if they want to beat this guy because they're, they're not. Then this chapter just showed that they don't stand a chance at this point. So, yeah. Anyway, that's my review, really, uh, and my reaction and review for this. Uh, not a whole lot to say. It was a very fast-paced chapter, really, and I don't, like I said, I don't know where this can go. At this point, I see these guys getting beaten to a pulp and one of them dying at this point. Yeah, and you know Astara saved the main characters, and, and not, well, if he was going to die, he would have died already, do you know what I mean? But he got saved as well, so my, my money at this point is is on Yami biting the dust, I think, because I think, I think someone does need to die, and... Uh, I think it might be Yami, but then uh, it might not be him because he, you know we still have that whole rising of the uh, country of the rising sun arc to maybe do in the future. So unless he dies and and the characters are like you know let's bury him where he where he lived where he came from and they go to his country and that's where they bury him and they maybe they run into Yami's family and they find out about that and and they maybe they find out some other secrets perhaps so maybe that can happen perhaps uh, I kind of hope it doesn't I hope it doesn't go that way but. Uh, with the way things are going, like, and the way you know is like thinking and that, like, like who, like who do, who to choose, who's, you know, who to bet his money on, like, I feel like it's one of those situations where like someone has to be sacrificed while the other one goes for the killing blow. I don't know. It's very, it's very weird what's going on here. But uh, yeah, that's that's all, guys. Really, I can't really say more than that. Uh, just as always, if you guys liked it, remember to like and subscribe. And yeah, uh, I shall see you when I shall see you. Take care and bye.